I didn't make it a finger mullet. Why is it a finger mullet? Because it's only the size of my finger. This is like the number one bait to use in Tampa Bay. In my opinion, maybe not everyone else's, but if you got finger mullet, you're gonna catch snook, redfish, trout, you're gonna catch everything. So let's make a finger mullet. And I'm not sure if this can be a jerk bait or a swim bait. If it's a swim bait, it's gonna be super dang tiny. If it's a jerk bait, it's probably the size of like a mirror date. I don't even know if I'm gonna need lead cavities in it. I think I might just be able to weight it or, or just by using eye screws and hooks, that'll be enough weight to make this sink. But we'll see. I'm gonna put it all together before I actually paint it. All right, there's our little finger mullet. All right, center line, there we go. And then we'll round out the nose a bit, taper down the tail, <clears throat> make these fins nicer size. Could do that on the belt sander and with the Dremel. All right, okay, took that down pretty fast that way. Gonna go ahead and use the Dremel now. Looks pretty good, got it pretty skinny. Uh, yeah, gonna drill out the fins, just kind of right there, 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 and there. And then I'll come back later and cut in the gills, a little side fin. Gonna use the screen meshing for paint scale work. Not really a whole lot to this. Well, unless I cut it in half. Haven't decided yet. Here's the tidbit I got right now. Still just the length of my finger. Um, I'm just gonna sand it, use a piece of like 80 grit sandpaper to round out the edges. Dropped and broke the tail, but that's okay. I'm going to use a little piece of aluminum to make that tail now. I went ahead and traced out the tail from the paper cutout on this piece of aluminum. So I'm gonna use my 10 snips and snip this out and this, and then super glue it in. All right, so that should just slide in. All right. <laughs> Got a slot cut in the tail. So, there you go. Just push it in and use some super glue to glue that in. I used the bandsaw to cut that slot, and I was going to use an X-Acto knife, and I was like, why would I do that? I have a bandsaw. I kind of wish I used the X-Acto knife now because, yeah. Looks horrible, right? But it's okay. It's all right. Life happens. Just gonna use a lot of super glue, some baking soda, and you'll never be able to tell. Got some lines drawn on this little finger mullet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the the knife that I usually use, which is a I'm drawing a blank on the knife that I typically use. You know, the, the sharp knife. It's 
decided to go ahead and cut it in half, so I'm going to do that. All right, since I got this bait cut in half now, I'm gonna have to connect this bait. So I'm going to concave out that body right there and then round out this so it'll slide together and I'll make my connection. I'll show you how to do that. All right, now I'm gonna use a little wood eater bit. I'm gonna cut a slot out right there in the center. So that's what we got. There's a little joint connection, a little slot where the eye screw is going to be. I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in some polyurethane now. It's very windy out right now. The door's creaking and squeaking, but got these pieces dipped in polyurethane and they are now drying. All right, I went ahead and put an eye screw right there, center of this bait. So that is going to be the joint connection. I just have to run a piece of wire through the body of this back piece. So I've got this eye screw right here. I'm literally just gonna put it in like that, hang a hook off it and throw it in the water and see if it'll sink. All right, I've got two different size hooks here. I got a really teeny tiny and I got a tiny. Here we go. Just going up. That is a negative. Okay, I got a quarter inch Forstner bit in the chuck drill. I'm just gonna send a little pocket right here behind the hook hanger. I was able to get three drops and I can probably get a fourth drop in there, but I'm gonna see how it will do with just the three. All right. So, went ahead and coated this little mullet with some silver paint. I know, big, big special moves. It took like three coats to get just to this point. I didn't film it because I literally just put silver spray paint on it. But I'm gonna put some scales on it. Now I'm gonna show you how I do that. So this is a little piece of screen mesh that I cut out of an old window. And I've got this little mullet laying underneath it. I'm going to press this down and then spray gold spray paint to give that crosshatch effect. That might have been a much, too much, but. So there is how that checkering came out. You can see, not too bad. Looks pretty decent. I'm saying this is probably gonna be like a five minute paint job. All right, here are the colors I got. I've got yellow, blue, red, gold, black, and bronze. All right, I gotta put some eyeballs on this now. So, over here, I've got some eyeballs. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna go for though. Cause I've been using epoxy and uh, polyurethane and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, that one just broke loose. I've got nails and eye screws and all sorts of stuff stuck down <laughs> to my workbench. I'm just gonna do a dab of super glue. They always fall off, so I always add super glue. It just helps hold them on better. Heck yeah. Nice. Check that out. That looks sweet. All right, I'm telling you what. I might be overconfident right now. This is gonna catch fish, guaranteed. 
And if it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. But I am like so certain that it's going to. This is a crystal clear enamel that I'm using. It dries super fast. See the cam there. Um, I could put two, maybe three coats on this pretty fast. Functions nice now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these little hooks off the end of this and then super glue that in. Dollop will do ya. So that is the setup there. Got a treble hook banded to the bait, but that is allowing it to swim so nicely. It's got great action. Well, it's hard to see. Not only that, but it, it works as a nice little jerk bait. A little turtle right there. Turtle. Turtle. What's up, little turtle? Oh, he sees my lure. <laughs> He's looking for the fish food. Get another one right in front of you. There you go. There's a whole bunch over here. Make a left. Nope, I said a left. Why aren't I showing footage of me fishing with the malt lure? Well, it's because I don't have the mullet lure anymore. Well, <clears throat> made a cast on a group of, they were either a little black ventuna or bonita or a mixture of both and maybe some mackerel mixed in there too. It made a cast, uh, hooked up right away and broke off or cut off. Should have had a wire leader on. Did not. Therefore, I don't have the mullet lure anymore. So I'm going to have to make another one. Instead, enjoy the rest of the fishing from the day as a bonus. Uh, there was grouper, hogfish, grunt, porgy, and it was a fun day. Got some good eats. Going to be back out there real soon with another lure, so get ready. It's coming. So enjoy the rest of this. Good morning. Running out here. Going to hit 22 miles, do some digging. See if we can't find some, some grouper, some hogfish. Just kind of see what's out there today. Send it. Got a couple. Hogfish. They gotta be 14. That that might be 13. It'd be close. Toss it back here. I'll check it. That's eh, not legal. Twelve. Would have been legal three years ago. Yeah, the porgy. Ah, just oh yeah! Oh yes! Big clown mouth. Let me turn that around this way. <laughs> yes, sir. You're hooked up, son. Don't let it get in the rocks. Palm that reel if you have to. That's 
white. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a big shark. Yeah, I was like, there's no way that's a gag. That was a gag. What kind of shark is it? Looks like a bull. He's big boy. Is it a bull shark? Yeah, it, it's a bull. How big is it? Oh, it's big. Oh, is it? Oh no, that's a nurse. It's a nurse. It's like a nurse shark. Oh, that's a bull shark. No, that's a nurse shark. Yeah, it's, he's a tank. Just a great big nurse shark. They're just like reeling in logs. Bring them over here. I'll get that hook out. Get your tackle back. Get that log over here. He's gonna roll, watch his head on the prop. Get him in the boat, at least you get a picture with him, Kenny. Get him in the boat. Watch his head. <laughs> He's coming around. Are uh, they, they have teeth in their mouth? Uh, yeah. Grab a tail, bro. 